Hi, my name is Abby Oliver with RPI Consultants, and today I want to go over what output packaging is and how to create an output profile, and then I'll actually show you how to use it. So output packaging is a client-side process designed for small, ad hoc output jobs. An output profile allows you to save output packaging configuration settings for reuse. After an output profile is created, the system automatically adjusts the settings each time you select an output method in an associated profile. You can create, modify, and delete output profiles for all four output methods. Those four methods are email, fax, file, and print. And just as a note, when you output perceptive content documents, perceptive content creates a separate output file. The output file is a copy of the document and the original document remains unaltered within the Perceptive Content Repository. So let's go ahead and get started on the demo. You'll want to log into your Management Console. And on this left pane here, go and select Output Profiles. Make sure you're on the Email tab if you are looking to create an email profile or one of the following options as well. So today we'll create an email profile. Click New, give this profile a name. You can give it a description if you want, but do make sure that you have this Is Active selected. This next step, you can add your users or groups that you want to have access to use this profile. and then we'll configure the actual profile itself. So if you want to default an email address, type the email address where you want to send the output profile. If you want the user to enter the email address each time they export, leave the email box empty to select the email address from your address book of your email client. For methods, select one of the options that is shown here. So if you want to attach in a document, select attachment. Um, an image now link would place a link within that email that the user can open the document directly within perceptive content. And WebNow URL is to place a WebNow link within the email that the user can open the document within WebNow. If you select image now link or WebNow URL, just click OK to create the profile. But today I will show you how to do an attachment, which gives you a few more configuration options. So next you have to select the format that you want um, your attachment to be in. So individual file um, will, multi will output multiple files within Perceptive Content Document as individual output files. If you select multi-page TIFF for each document, um, it will create a multi-page TIFF. Um, and if you want to export multiple documents, Perceptive Content creates that multi-page TIFF for each document. And then obviously single PDF, uh, we'll just bundle it up and export it as one PDF. Today I'm going to show you the individual files method. And then this option down here is for annotations. So you can select um, the current view, which is if you were to hide a few or um, add a few at that time when you're viewing the document, it'll export as is. Or you can always choose to select um, exporting a document with the annotations if they are on the document or no annotations at all. Okay, and then within the content tab, um, you can give your uh, files a name. So ID would just be document ID. Keys would be the index keys of the document. Name would be um, the unique name of the document. And then file name is the original file name of the document. Um, if you're exporting a TIFF, you can keep the image color conversion selected at none. Um, but if you are doing PDF, we recommend that you select black and white, uh, which uses the least amount of size for the export file. You can also include uh, sticky notes if they are on the document itself. Or you can include um, header or footer options. So I will select date and time, and that will actually print that on the document once it's exported. Okay, and then go ahead and select OK, and that creates the output profile. So now I'll show you how to 
use the output profile. Go ahead and pop open a document. As you can see, this one has an annotation on it. Go up here to our toolbar and select email. And then you can select which profile you want to use. As we know, we just used the or created the test email. Enter your email address here. Okay, and as you can see, you can modify any of the options that we um, created in the profile. But that's it. If you just want to export that document in email, go ahead and click OK, and that document will be emailed out to the user that you typed right here. Thanks for watching today, and check back with us on our YouTube channel for more how-to videos and also our webinars.